and welcome back. Happy almost Halloween. Be sure to hit that subscribe button right now, and if your friends need any Halloween ideas, send them over here because I've got plenty more that are on the way. So today we're going to be creating this look inspired by Queen Ravenna from Snow White and the Huntsman. For those of you who aren't familiar with Ravenna, this is her. She is the same evil queen from the legend of Snow White. And you see that amazing throne she's sitting in right now? I actually got to sit in that exact chair and I have solid proof that is actually really hilarious. So keep watching this clip. So I am standing right next to the chair that they filmed Snow White and the Huntsman and Charlie Theron actually sat in this chair. This was her chair. It's so cool. Look at it. So awesome. I'm gonna sit in there right now. Yeah, hurry, hurry, hurry. Hey guys, look where I don't sit on the front side. Oh, they just said we could. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I sat. I'm good. So I may have gotten yelled at for sitting, but she was actually wrong. You can sit in the chair. She just didn't know at the time and kind of caught me sitting on it. It's all good, though, because that little five seconds of me sitting on that chair was pretty freaking awesome. I mean, this is one of my favorite movies, so it was really, really cool to actually get to sit in that awesome chair. So back to Ravenna. A little background about her. Ravenna's mother had given her a special enchantment at a young age that would protect her from time and from aging. But in order to stay young and beautiful, Ravenna has to devour the hearts of young maidens, and to become truly immortal, she must consume the heart of Snow White the moment Snow White becomes fairest in all the land. I love this movie so much, and I especially love all the looks that are seen on her in Winter's War. So today we will be combining all of those looks into one to create one beautiful, complete look of Queen Ravenna. So if you guys would like to know how to get this look you see right here, then just keep on watching. To start this look out, you're going to want to prime your skin because we are going to be using a lot of powder today and you want to make sure that that skin is nice and hydrated under your foundation and that foundation will look amazing as long as you use your favorite primer and make sure that you hydrate really good. For foundation, I'm using something about medium in coverage but is very long lasting. If you're going to a Halloween party, you're going to want to wear a foundation that's going to last all night. And this one will last the entire night. It's my favorite. It's the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. And my favorite way to blend this out is using a Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush. And it really keeps that coverage looking full and really, really smooth. For concealer, I'm going to use something one to two shades lighter than my skin tone so I can draw some light underneath my eyes and bring some light to my face. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, but use whatever you'd like. Using something a little lighter will help out so much because it will make you look very sculpted, just like Ravenna. And to lock everything in, be sure to set using a translucent powder. I also like to dust this all around my face, and this will really bulletproof your entire look. So if you're planning on going out, just make sure that you set using a powder, and this will really prolong everything. For brows, I'm going for something very defined yet natural, so I'm using the Benefit Cosmetics Precisely My Brow Pencil in shade 4. And I'm just going to be filling them in and combing them out using the end of the spoolie. And to set them today, I'm going to go in with the Ready Set Brow by Benefit and feather the hairs out for a really natural effect. And this will also keep them in place all day long. And lastly, I always like to clean up with a concealer just to sharpen up the brows, and this really perfects them and makes them look so good, so I always take this extra step. For eyes, be sure to prime first and apply a nude colored shadow to your brow bone area to make sure everything is set, and this will make all of the shadows blend easier. Going into this warm brown shade, I'm going to apply this into our crease, and this is going to act as our transition color today. Taking a dark brown, I'm going to pack this color onto the inner and outer corner of our eyes, leaving the middle of our lid open and blank. Going back into the crease with a taupe brown color, I'm going to blend the darker shades together to form our halo eye. Then going back in with the black eyeshadow, I'm going to pack this onto those dark areas and then I'm going to blend out just to deepen everything up. Take the black eyeshadow and bring this down into your lower lash line just to smoke out the entire look. I also applied some translucent powder to catch any fallout that can happen while blending black eyeshadow. For liner, apply a black liner and be sure to wrap this around your entire eye. 
I also applied some more of the liner into the dark areas and smoked that out even further. Taking Fortune Teller by Makeup Geek, applied the shade directly to the lid area that we left blank. This is a beautiful gold, very similar to what she was wearing in the movie. I also applied this color into my inner corner as well. Next, apply some mascara and lashes, and your Ravenna eye look is finished. For bronzer, I'm using the Too Faced Beach Bunny Bronzer just to warm up the skin. And this is not a matte, but a shimmer bronzer. This is perfect because it looks a lot more natural than a matte bronzer would, which is what we are going for. Ravenna had a very naturally bronzy look. Wasn't too over the top, it was just really natural and warm. For blush, I'm going to take something really light and pink, and this shade is from Ofra. This is from their blush palette, and I'm just going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks and back. For highlight, I'm using the Ofra Cosmetics Rodea Drive Highlighter. This is such a beautiful gold. It's definitely one of my favorites. I use this almost every single day. And I'm going to highlight the face with this for a nice, beautiful glow. I also like to highlight my nose to make it appear smaller and thinner. For lips, I'm going to use something really nude because for the most part in this movie, she had very nude lips. And if she did have any lipstick on, it was very natural and very nude. So I'm using one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. This is MAC Myth. And now to get started on the gold leaf, she was wearing this look in Winter's War. And this is a very beautiful scene where she is brought back and she has these beautiful gold flecks on her eyes. And they kind of cascade over her eyebrows as well, so I will be doing that. And I'm also going to bring these gold flecks around my forehead and my eyes as well. I bought this gold leaf kit at Walmart and they're just gold confetti pieces that come with an adhesive. But you can actually purchase the gold leaf at a fabric store if you can't find this kit in Walmart. So the Evil Queen is always wearing braids in her blonde hair, and her hair is so gorgeous, it's a beautiful golden blonde color. So I actually put on a wig, and you can purchase this wig at the Spirit of Halloween. This is a very, very good wig. It looks amazing on. I have nothing but good things to say about this wig, and you can also purchase this costume that I am wearing, my crown, the accessories, all at the Spirit of Halloween. Alright beauties, that is it for this Queen Ravenna look. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with all of your friends. Help me get my name out there this Halloween and share all of my Halloween videos for anyone that needs some ideas. Thank you all for watching today, and I will see you all in my next tutorial.